This is the official unboxing of a new infrared camera from Infiray. This is the Xtherm 2 T2S infrared camera with the inspection workstation, which is great for inspecting any type of electronics. So let's check this one out. I received the package in the mail. Let's open it up and see what I got. It's got these shipping straps on it I gotta cut. To get in. I really packaged this up well, didn't I? Well, it's packed well. What do we have here? Infrared. Made for Android. And a PCB electronics inspection station. Okay, well, let's open this box first. Let's see what we got here. So we've got a bracket. But this go looks like this goes on here. So we can adjust it to any height. This goes on here to hold the camera in place. And then you can adjust it in any way. Uh, there is this bracket and that can be screwed onto here to hold a phone or this can go on top there's also another like there's multiple screws on here for attaching other devices you put the, the bracket on top for the phone that way you can have the phone at whatever angle you want and that will adjust and hold your phone in place. Let's open up the camera and see what's in this box. This is the model Xtherm 2 T2S from Infinaray. Comes with a card. And here is the unit itself. All the little stickers. Power cable, um, both a straight power cable and a 90 degree power cable. And here is the camera itself. And like the other one that I've got with the bracket to go on the phone, this one here fits into this bracket. 256 by 192 is the resolution of this sensor and it's focusable. The camera fits into this bracket so you can pop it in like that and it's held in place. 
fit that back into the stand. And then connect your connecting cable from here up to your smartphone. So one side into the phone, like that. And the other side goes into the camera, which should open the software if it's the same software, which it is, Xtherm Infrared. And this should turn on the thermal camera, which it does. And then we can adjust the camera for what we're going to be looking at. And adjust our our focus and let's see here temperature what can I select on here I can select different things I believe temperature it tells me the temperature of my hand right there bench is 71.4 70.4 70 degrees Fahrenheit I think that's a little bit off I think it's a little colder than that Maybe because my hand was sitting on it there for a few minutes. Um, <clears throat> but uh, what else can we do on here? Just trying to figure this out. Okay, that was an iron. Let's, let's put white hot. So now, okay, you can see our black hot. Or you can have your iron rainbow. And rainbow and iron gray, etc. So you can select your different readings here on the uh, display. I'll just tip the phone up a bit so you guys can see it a little easier. So this is obviously an inspection camera. So you're inspecting circuit boards for flaws. And I guess you can also turn, the, you can turn this sideways this way as well. There we go. So that I can there, now I'm seeing what the camera sees, you see. Now I'm seeing the same orientation, so you orient, orient it that way. That's good. It's a nice little stand so that you can use your phone as a display and you're not having to hold it. I like that. That's, that's a good idea. And then we can adjust the... Of course, it might help if I lock the, the phone display so it doesn't start to rotate. There's a, there's a lock back here. We can turn in here to lock it. And lock this. Then I can adjust the camera up or down to what I'm going to be inspecting. And I can also adjust the camera in and out. Let me uh, go and find something that we'll, we'll do an inspection. And I'll go get something and open it up and we'll put it under here and watch it heating up. So this is a, I got a Blu-ray player here. When I apply power to this, we would expect to see things start to heat up in pretty quick order I would think so let's apply power and watch what happens okay it has got power and we can see the chip here is already getting hot because power has been applied if I take off the power it will cool back down now I'd say there's many other options on here like I can go to they call the white hot so now when I apply power again we'll see the chip start to heat up in the center there just like that as the heat dissipates so these units are great for inspecting circuitry when you're testing for example if you're testing a circuit board in production before you're going to install it and you want to make sure that you don't have a bad component or something that's misbehaving you can uh, test it on a, a platform like this if I plug it in we'll see this thing start to heat up like that and it's telling me the temperature of the chip see this chips getting pretty warm 86 degrees Fahrenheit so far hasn't even turned the unit on yet I just plugged it in 91 degrees let's turn on the unit itself if I can remember where the power button is on this one somewhere in here there's a power button here we go now it'll get even probably hotter and if I throw a disc in and actually have it start to decode something it will get even warmer but you get the picture that's the whole point of thermal imaging is so that you can spot components that are heating up that are getting too hot 
we look over here at the power supply we'll see the switching regulator here is getting pretty warm transformer itself is still relatively cool the diode over here you can see the diode is 75 degrees capacitor here is cold this capacitor is cold that chip now is up to over 103 degrees Fahrenheit I think it probably is safe to say that it's probably supposed to go on this side just so that it's more centered over here if you're examining a circuit board on this this surface for example um, but either way I just you can put it on either way you can turn this around and have it facing this way if you prefer it on the right side because you can adjust it whichever way you want right but I think it's probably supposed to go it's probably supposed to go this way just because it centers the um, the camera more over the workplace and of course if, to tilt the camera one way or the other you would just loosen off the, the screw there if you wanted to use this for inspecting things other than what was on here you can do that as well again by just turning it around you can turn it and have it facing somewhere else right if you're wanting to inspect something that was uh, not a circuit board something that was stationary somewhere else and I think we could just rotate the because uh, now of course it's going to be the opposite so we would just rotate the the phone but that way you can if you're not wanting to inspect something that's right on a, a, a work table if you're wanting to inspect something else you could set it up in this configuration and now you've got a, a bench mounted camera on what literally like a little tripod now this is one that I could actually use in this configuration because if I'm working on something that I need to monitor I can set it up and by adjusting the whoops where's the screw here by adjusting the the lock screws I can set this up to monitor something that might be getting warm like a transformer or a component so in this aspect in this set up I think this is a very useful way to set it up like this as opposed to just having to look at something that's flat because this this is good for inspecting circuit boards and components but if you were working on a television or something that you needed to monitor if something is getting hot or something that a piece of equipment that's running that is larger or further away than this you could set this up set it up on your bench and just use it to monitor for example if I turn on my soldering iron which is as you can see is cold if I reach back here and turn on my soldering iron we will see it start to get hot right away and there it goes uh, if you want to take a picture of what you've got you can do a snapshot or you can do a video if you click here it'll actually record video of what's going on in front of the camera hello stop that and uh, what's that one do? Oh, that one best playback. That's going into my library of stuff that I recorded from before, from even from the older, the other cameras that I've got, because I've got a library of, of footage that I recorded using the other cameras that I've been testing over the the the, the, uh, the years. But this is a playback of what I just recorded right now. I think that's it. I'll actually record video of what's going on in front of the camera. Hello. So that's, that's that. This was a demo of this new infrared camera. This one is the model Xtherm 2 T2S. Another tool for my toolbox. I think this one, probably I'll be using this one a little more than say some of the other ones just because I can leave this one set up in its stand ready to be used and all I need to do is just grab my phone plug my phone in and, and plug it in and it's ready to go on a moment's notice and just plug in the phone and I'm good to do an inspection so that aspect I like anyway uh, link is in the description thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one bye